This video tutorial is going to take you through using the Finance Solver on the TI Inspire CX and we're going to do two compound interest questions. The first question can be seen at the top here, $5,000 is invested in an account which earns 15% per annum added quarterly. How much is in the account after five years? To use the Finance Solver on the calculator you just need to start a plain calculator page. We go to Menu, we go to Option 8 which is Finance and then finance solver and this brings up a little interactive window we're going to leave in to start with and we're going to go to the interest rate the interest rate is entered as a percentage and it's always entered as a per annum percentage so for our example we will enter 15 the present value is used for compound interest questions and we always enter the value as a negative and so we're investing negative 5000 payment for compound interest questions is always given as a zero. FV, the future value, is what we're hoping to go towards, so we're going to leave that blank. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. Payments per year. We are doing uh, having interest added quarterly, and so there are actually four payments per year, and there are four compounds per year. Payment at for this type of question is at end, and we'll go back up to the top. The final one we need to set is N, uh, the number of payments or number of interest bearing periods. This is where you multiply the number of years, in this case 5, by the number of payments per year which is 4 and so we can put in that we're going to have 20 payments. Once you've entered all that information you can tab down to the future value and press enter and you'll see that we get $10,440.76. And so that's worked out really nicely. The calculator, however, can also do these questions to work out other values. In the second example, we have how much needs to be invested at 18% per annum compounded twice yearly to amount to $2,500 in three years. So if we start from the top again, and we start with editing the number of payments. We find that we're compounding twice a year for three years, so there are going to be six interest bearing periods. We have 18% per annum. The present value is what we want to find, and so we delete it and leave it blank. We leave payment at zero. We want our fund to take us to $2,500, so we put that into future value and now we have two and compound periods per year is two and we leave payment at end we can come back up to present value hit enter and we get one thousand four hundred ninety dollars and sixty seven cents you will notice the negative sign in there that is not important that's just how it gets entered into the calculator so that's how you use the calculator to solve compound interest questions. With that information, you can also use it to find N and also the percentage I. If I click on I and delete the 18% and now hit enter for the question that we have, it does calculate that it's 18%.